Good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning out there. I know it takes a minute for everybody to kind of um, log in, to catch up, to catch on. So I will just be with you this morning. Grand rising to you. Grand rising Lisa Lofty and G. Sharon Mapalo Jackson. <laughs> I'm Paula D. Phillips. Good morning. Good morning. I'm just taking a little minute and let people come in. And I want to say great, great, great and grand rising. <laughs> Welcome to this sacred space, this global connection, and your daily antiviral message, living beyond the virus. And this is, if you can believe it, day 21. Wow. So I want to say welcome. Let me see who's tuning in this morning. Graciela Kent Jackson, good morning to you. Good morning. And we're Evangelist Brenda Moore and Hortense Caparella. And where are my cities? Woodbridge, New Jersey. Welcome. Welcome to you. Welcome, Brooklyn. Welcome, Philly. Welcome, Chi-Town. Welcome the, welcome, the ATL. Yesterday, we had Nairobi, Kenya with us. And we had uh, uh, Rio de Janeiro with us. And we had so many people from around the globe. So I'm just watching them come in and giving everybody a grand good morning. Good morning, Detroit. That's where my BFF is. San Antonio, welcome. Denver, welcome. Groton, Connecticut, welcome. Miami, Miami, where it's nice and warm. And it's beautiful here today. I'm on the East Coast. Baltimore, <laughs> with three exclamation points. <laughs> good morning, Ashana, Reverend Ashana. Good morning. Good morning, Charlotte. So we are gathering here today. Good morning. Oh, teacher from Aaron Davis Hall and Wonder Woman. Yay. Good morning, Houston. Astoria. Yeah, how you doing, Astoria? Big prayers for New York and Philly and Detroit and NOLA. Richmond, welcome. Welcome you here. Welcome, welcoming you, Athens, Georgia. Yeah, come on in. Come on, Chi-Town. Welcome. Welcome to you. Just letting people kind of gather. Uh, welcome Oakland because people say, oh, I missed the beginning. I missed the beginning. Welcome Little Rock. Wow, I haven't seen Little Rock in a while. Welcome. New Jersey. You got to say where in New Jersey. New Jersey is a big place. <laughs> Glenwood, Illinois. Uh, welcome to you. Yeah, we said welcome to, to Texas. Um, no, you didn't miss me this morning. Columbia, South Carolina. Welcome to you. Richmond, yeah. So as we gather here, uh, I love to just uh, welcome everybody in and you say good morning to each other. And that is so wonderful as we gather here. And if you are new to this gathering, you are welcome here. Chesapeake, Virginia. Wherever you live, Wherever you are, wherever you are located, you are welcome here. Port Townsend, Washington. Welcome, Puerto Rico. Como esta? Como esta? Yes, welcome. And how you doing? Welcome from Maryland, you know. Uh, so you are welcome here today and every day. And I don't know about you, <laughs> but I am gratefully glad to be alive today. Yeah, come on. I'm glad to be alive awake and aware during this holy week. This is a holy week. And I don't know if you've heard, but the curve of new cases is flattening out in New York, okay? And I don't know if you participated in the global meditation last Saturday night, but what if the positive energy of over a half million people actually had a positive effect on the energy of the corona? What if? <laughs> And I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a shift, yeah? And I am holding to the possibility that that shift is going to be good for us all. So I'm grateful. I am grateful, I am hope-filled, and I'm faith-filled. As my grandmother used to say, I am yet holding on. <laughs> and I'm so very, very grateful that Chris Cuomo is doing better and feeling better, yeah? He gave a powerful testimony last night, so I will watch Chris. You know, and I give thanks for this day and to the day for the opportunity 
to connect with people from all over the world. Yeah. So let's just take a moment to hold hands virtually. Let us connect heart to heart. Let us welcome each other and receive each other in this space. Yeah. Now we can call it a crisis or we can engage in it as an opportunity. The shake up to wake up. <laughs> and we gather here to recognize, to acknowledge, and to master the power and presence of our divinity. And you know what else? Today is a full moon day. A pink moon. This means that there's a powerful energy present on the planet. And today we are going to take full advantage of that energy. Yes. And yes, we are going to do it. Okay. And so we begin. Together, let us breathe. Take a long, deep inhale. And now a slow, complete exhale. A dear friend of mine, Ricky Byers, sings a song that says, the breath of God is breathing me. I'm resting in the breath of God. I know that all is well. So let us rest in the breath of the creator, our source, the absolute. Let us recognize, acknowledge, and accept that we are in eachness, in the allness of God, life, creator, source. Take a long, deep inhale. And a slow, complete exhale. As we breathe together, let us set an intention to defy anything and everything that would challenge our right and capacity to breathe fully and freely. Let us consciously and intentionally release all beliefs that no longer serve us. We surrender any and all outdated, worn out, unproductive beliefs that limit us, restrict us, confine us, enslave us, in obstruct us, from living the fullness of our I am-ness. Come on, take a long, deep inhale. Resting in the breath of God, let us exhale. Mm -hmm. Right there. Let us consciously and intentionally, intentionally release all fears, worries, and anxieties that may be hidden, buried, secreted, coveted, camouflaged, denied, avoided, or suppressed. We use the breath of the creator that is breathing us right now to enliven us, to release those things, whether we attracted them, whether we created them, whether we inherited them, or whether we picked them up in the environment of life. We let them go. Come on, breathe. And exhale. Hold the moment. Hold the moment. Now we are not playing today. Uh-uh. We are standing strong and stepping into the fullness of the truth of who we are. And that begins with a breath. We refuse to give up our right to breathe, our capacity to breathe, the freedom of breath. Right there. And so we breathe. Thank you, Ricky Byers. So I'm going to say it again, just in case you missed it. The breath of God, the creator, the source, is breathing me. I'm resting in the breath of God. I'm choosing to know that all is well. I am committed to knowing that all is well, no matter what it looks like. And so it is. And we breathe. Come on, long, deep inhale. And a slow, complete exhale. Mm -hmm. I invite you to come present and to be aware of what you're feeling in your body. Notice any sensations, any tightness, any tension, any movement, 
and any ease, lightness, openness. Just be aware. Let it be. Whatever it may be, just feel it. Don't name it. Just be aware and let it be. Because that's mindfulness. No reactivity. Just pay attention and accept. Now bring your awareness to this right here, right now moment, the sound of my voice, the sounds in the room. Nothing to do, just be aware. And today, let us once again send healing, light, energy, and love to those who are in the midst of experiencing the virus, wherever they may be, in the hospital, in the nursing home, on a ventilator, whether they're in the emergency room waiting to be seen or at home wondering if they should go, we send them white healing light, healing energy, and love. Remember, Emmett Fox told us weeks ago that there's no disease that enough love won't cure. Let us hold hands across the nation and around the world to see, to feel, to imagine, to intend that we are all connected through our hearts we are powerful. And we call forth the violet transmuting flame, the healing energy to neutralize and transmute the presence of the virus in every hospital, every home, every nursing home, every corner, every supermarket, every post office, every fire department, in every ambulance, anywhere where anyone's being affected. We silently communicate to the virus, you need not be. We deny you the right to exist. And we breathe. Join me in placing your hand over your heart and repeat these words silently or aloud with the intention that every person, regardless of their age, their race, their location, anyone in this moment who's in the experience of the virus in, virus in Detroit or NOLA or New York or Jersey, that they will receive and accept the energy of these words and our intention. Hold your heart. May you be healed. May you regain radiant health. May you be safe from inner and outer harm. And we breathe. Our inspirational reading today comes from Your Body is Telling You to Heal Yourself by Lisa Bordeaux. Now this is a book that reveals the metaphysical or beyond the physical causes of any illness or disease. <laughs> if you've ever read Louise Hay's book, You Can Heal Your Life, think of this book as You Can Heal Your Life on steroids, <laughs> okay? This is on steroids. If you want to know why anything is going on in your body, this right here, this is the book. And here is what she says. The human hand is one of the most sensitive and mobile parts of the human body. Mechanically, it is as complex as any piece of technology, yet it has the capacity to experience the most profound sense of touch. All right? The hand. If pain is experienced in the left hand, examine what you feel about receiving. Are you afraid to receive a helping hand? Do you receive love and gratitude or do you feel that you are obligated to return the favor in order to avoid looking unregretful, ungrateful or selfish? Do you believe it is impossible for someone to give you something without wanting something in return? Your belief system could be creating an obstacle to your enjoyment. You must learn to receive graciously and openly. That's the left hand. Now look at this. If you are experiencing pain in the right hand, examine what you feel with regard to giving. Do you give with strings attached or out of obligation? 
Are you apprehensive about giving a helping hand to others? Do you hold back because you feel others will take advantage of your generosity or because you find it difficult to say no? Do you feel you need to do everything for yourself? <laughs> you may need to learn to give simply for the pleasure of giving. Whoa. Pain in your hands may be linked to your attitude about work. The hands should always give and be used with love and pleasure. Appreciate your hands openly and thank them for all they do. Allow yourself to take situations in hand without the fear of being taken advantage of. You have all the tools you need to face any situation that arises. Those tools are called hands. Wow, 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 wow. Appreciate your hands. How simple is that? <laughs> okay, consider this affirmation. I'm just weeping today. <laughs> and repeat it often through the day. Ready? I am a living miracle. I am a powerful expression of life. I have all that I need in the palm of my hands, and I appreciate me. Let me just say this. If you didn't get the name of the book, if you want to know what the affirmation is, go back and rewatch the tape. Why do I have to do all the work? Why do I have to repeat the book? Why do I have to repeat the affirmation? That takes longer and people are trying to listen and go to work. So go back and watch the tape. But since you asked me, I'll tell you today. The name of the book is Your Body is Telling You to Love Yourself by Lisa Bourbeau. Okay? Your Body is Telling You to Love Yourself by Lisa Bourbeau. And it is a metaphysical um, experience explanation. Metaphysical means beyond the physical. A metaphysical explanation of illness and disease. And here is your affirmation. I am a living miracle. I am a powerful expression of life. I have all that I need in the palm of my hands. I appreciate all of me. Okay? Now that's the last time I'm going to do that. From now on, you want to see, you go back and you look at it. Okay? Y'all are lazy. <laughs> you want me to do all the work. Repeat that. Show me that. Do that. Mm -hmm. Get your pencil. Welcome to Take Care of You Tuesday. <laughs> this is the day that we are going to make a conscious, intentional choice and commitment to take care of ourselves. Yeah? Take Care Tuesday, people. Take Care Tuesday. Even if you have to go to work today, take care of yourself. Even if the children are in, at home and you've got to teach them or work with them, take care of yourself. What do you need today? Do you need a nap? <laughs> do you need to stick your head out the window and, and take a deep breath of fresh air? Do you need to get dressed up, do your hair, put some makeup on, put some perfume on, and then just sit and look out the window? What do you need today? This is Take Care Tuesday. Take care of you today. You see, the world needs your mind and your heart and your ears and your eyes and your hands. You must find a way, even a small way, to take care of yourself. The other day, a friend of mine said that people who are in pain will change even if they don't want to. They will. <laughs> On this Take Care Tuesday, if you have any kind of pain, any kind of pain, mental pain, emotional pain, physical pain, spiritual pain, you must do something to change. Do something to take care of yourself. Why not take care of all your fears and worries and upsets 
Why not put them in the God box? We talked about making a God box on Sacred Saturday. Make a God box. Make a God jar. A, a, a place where you write down what's what's going on and what's causing you upset and tired. It's something, uh, upset and, and stress. It's something that you can create. You can decorate it or not. And whatever is pressing on your mind that's causing you dis-ease, put it in the God box. Then, the way you take care of yourself is that if that thought or that feeling comes up again, you remind yourself, I put that in the God box. That's out of my hands. Or as they say now, that's above me now. <laughs> and you let it go. Sometimes the best way to take care of yourself is just to let things go. Let them go. What do you need to let go of today? This is Take Care Tuesday. So put it in the thread. I'm letting go of. And then... Go write it down and put it in the God box, the God jar. Refuse to engage it. That's how you engage mindfulness. Put it in the thread. I, today I'm letting go of. Today I'm giving up control of. You know, what are you letting go of today? Come on. This is Take Care Tuesday. Take Care Tuesday. Remember, wake up, everybody. No more sleeping in bed. No more backward thinking. Time for thinking ahead. What are you letting go of today? Put it in the thread on this Take Care Tuesday. And somebody said, what do you do with all the papers that you put in the God jar? Well, you, when it gets full, you can take those papers out. You can tear them up and flush them. You can burn them. You can put them in a plant. So as the plant grows, something new will be coming of that energy. You can, you can, uh, yeah, Billy is present. You hear Billy clomping across the floor. Billy, go take care of yourself. I'm busy right now. Billy is the turtle. <laughs> I'm letting go of. Yeah, what are you letting go of? I'm letting go of have-tos. I'm letting go of having to detach from family members. I'm letting go of the responsibility of perfection. I lost my job after 10. Let it go. Let it go in your mind. Put it in, your, in the God box. Put unemployment in the God box. Put fear in the God box. Put anxiety in the God box. What are you letting go of today? Take care of yourself today. Did you stretch today? I mean, did you stretch your body? Did you stretch your arms, your legs? Did you stretch? It's 10 a.m. here on the East Coast. How much water have you had today? Huh? That, now, now, this may be TMI, but did you poop today? <laughs> you got to poop! Because according to Lisa Bourbeau, if you're not pooping or if it's hard to poop, that means that you may be holding on to something mentally or emotionally or spiritually. On this Take Care Tuesday, what beliefs are you still engaging? Beliefs that no longer serve you. Do you still believe that you got to do it all? Do you still believe that you have to do everything? Take care of everyone all by yourself. Do you still believe that you're unworthy of love, that you'll never have the love that you want? Do you believe that you can't have, don't deserve abundance, prosperity? Do you believe you must be in control? Because if you're not in control, everything's going to fall apart. Do you still believe that you can't forgive? Do you believe that they did you wrong and that they need to apologize? Do you believe that you can make it without whoever and whatever? What outdated, worn out beliefs are you still enslaved to? Put it in the thread. I still believe that and I'm letting that go. Or I'm giving up the belief that I'm letting it and let it go. Take care of yourself today, mentally, emotionally, physically, and spiritually, yes, I let go of expectation. I let go of control about the future. I let go of keeping my mother-in-law. I let go of fear about my life, my loss of work. I'm letting go. Let go. I let go of control. I promise, and this time I mean it. <laughs> yes, come on. I let go. Take care of Tuesday. I let go of inertia. Yes, 
I let go of allowing my emotions to be controlled by an unstable person. Yes, I let go of the unstable person. How about that? I let go of the belief that I will always be weak. Yes, that's what I'm telling you. I let go of the fact, believing that I have no inner authority. Okay? I let go. I, Billy, what are you doing? I'm letting Billy go. No, I'm not going to let Billy go, okay? I let go of dragging around. Yes, come on. Get up. Take care of yourself. Put some makeup on. Put some lipstick on. Gentlemen, you may not have anywhere to go. Put on a shirt and a tie and just sit there and look at the glory of yourself. This is Take Care of Yourself Tuesday and do whatever you need to do to make you feel better. Open up to new beliefs, new ways of being. Remember yesterday, above all else, I want to see things differently. Let go of an old belief today. Choose a new belief today. What did Teddy Pentegrass tell us yesterday? The world has changed so very much from what if it used to be. If you are in pain, if you are in fear, if you are in breakdown, you may need to change your beliefs I invite you to let go of some old beliefs right now. Remember, we are creating our future today. So take care of yourself today so that you can have a better future, a better experience tomorrow. This is Take Care Tuesday. Do you need to go for a walk alone? And yes, stay away from other people, but get out. Don't let the fear keep you locked up in the house. Do you need to fix a meal for yourself? Not because you have to cook, but because you want to. Do you need to fast and pray today? Huh? Do you have a simple spiritual practice that you need to recommit to yourself today? Did you watch the mindfulness of breath video yesterday? It takes five minutes. Did you watch the mindfulness meditation to release fear and anxiety. It's also five minutes. These are simple ways, loving ways, that you can take care of yourself. But if you make everything and everyone more important than you, take care of Tuesday. What about calling somebody and letting them know you need help? Now with with all that's going on, they may not be able to help you, but at least you can ask, okay? What did the reading say? Can you receive a helping hand? Now, what about a bubble bath? What about that? And if you don't have any more bubble bath, what about dish liquid? <laughs> if it's good for the dishes, it's good for your butt. <laughs> the goal is not smell. The goal is lots and lots and lots of bubbles. And just sit there and soak and weep or fart, or do whatever is required just to take care of yourself. Take care Tuesday. When was the last time you soaked your feet? You know, you don't have to go to the nail salon to get a pedicure. Put your feet, put them dogs in a bucket with some dish liquid. <laughs> and add a cap full of bleach because that takes the soreness out. And soak them in the water. And when the water gets cold, dump that out and put some more in there. Do whatever you can using whatever you have just to take care of yourself. What are you letting go of today? What are you going to do to take care of yourself? I need to let go of the fear. Not need to do it. I am letting go. Remember, that was our lesson. I am as creative. I'm letting go of all my fears about the virus. Why are you afraid of the virus? It's here now. And what does that have to do with you? And yes, People are sick, and yes, people are dying. And what we can do, we have done every morning for 21 days. Send healing, light, and love, and energy. Why are you worrying? That's not how you take care of yourself. Not that it's not present, not that it's not there, but take care of you. The world needs you. The world needs your eyes, your heart, your ears. I gave myself a facial yesterday. Yes, do that. I'm doing positive visualizations today. Yes, I'm letting go of the emotional roller coaster. Yes, I love, I use ivory liquid for my bump. Me too. <laughs> I use whatever is available. Ivory, Dove, Gain, Palmala. Yes, going to the nail salon, doing nails at home. Yeah, listen. Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park, okay? <laughs> and you ladies know what I mean when I say I have gel. 
on there. So I, I got to soak that in the acetone. I live in, I let go of the belief that I'm the only one who should be taken. Yes, let that go. That is not how you take care of yourself. What are you letting go? And what are you going to do today to take care of you? Something small. Are you going to listen to the meditation? Uh, I gave you a white light meditation. I gave you a, 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 a spiritual feast. I am creating structure, discipline, and focus. Don't do the discipline. Don't do the discipline. Discipline is harsh. Don't do that. Do, do, do something else. I'm continuing to let go. Well, if you let it go once, why you got to let it go again? Make a God jar. And every time anxious comes up, put it in the God jar or the God box. Every time fear comes up, no, no, I put that in the God box. It's above me now, okay? It's out of my hands. I am, the breath of God is breathing me. People, are you using your affirmations? I give them to you every day. And they're not just for, uh, okay, Billy is looking for his food. Let me, y'all keep writing, okay? Just keep writing in the thread. I'll be right back. He's Because he's going crazy. He's got to get to his food. I'll be right back. Come on, Billy. You want your food, baby? Come on. I'm sorry. I know you've been down there a couple of days. But I was on the thing, and I couldn't um, get to you. Come on. Come on over here. Here you go. Here you go. Uh, there you go. He needs some water. He needs some water. Y'all keep typing. Keep typing. I got to take it. Oh, that ain't water. Okay, Billy, you got to wait. <laughs> oh, the beauty of working at home. <laughs> I had to go. Billy was having a fit, okay? All right. Yes. And we breathe. Yes. Take care Tuesday. I don't care what it is, what little thing you have to do, what, what, how ridiculous it may sound. Do you need to just get naked and just flop around the house, okay? <laughs> Let it go. Let everything go today. Let the breath of God breathe you. Know that all is well and take care of you today. Yes, put it in a can. She's going to make a God can, okay? <laughs> Whatever, a can, a box. Decorate it, color it. You got colored pencils and, and make it pretty, okay? <sighs> so what do I have for the children today? Did you do the raisin exercise with them yesterday? If not, today is another opportunity do that raising exercise with them. We want to keep the kids in touch, the children in touch with their feelings. And if you can't do the raising side, then raising exercise, do a full moon dream list. Today is the perfect day for the children to write out their dreams. Today is the full moon. And the full moon is a universal energy of illumination. And whatever you hold in your mind today will be illuminated by the presence of the full moon. So let the children write down their hopes and their dreams and their wishes so that they don't go sad and sour. You know, let them write it down and ex get excited about it. Get them to talk to you about it, all right? And for the big people, it, 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 take care of yourself today, okay? If you have a journal, do some journal writing. Why not offer any worries or fears to the full moon? And the way you do that is just list all of your fears and worries and anxieties on a piece of paper. doesn't matter how big or how small. Just close your eyes and ask your higher self to reveal any fears that you may be harboring in your mind or in your heart. No matter what comes up, write it down. Because sometimes we have fears that we don't even recognize. And it doesn't have to make sense. You know, you, you could be afraid of, it don't matter. Fears for your family, fears for the world fears for yourself, write them all down. Then after you get them all down on the paper, don't read. Don't read it. Don't go back and reread it. Take the paper. You can tear it up into tiny little pieces, and then you can burn those pieces on a plate or bury them in the backyard to release the energy. That's all you're doing. I don't want people to start saying, I'm teaching you all witchcraft. I'm, you're just transforming the energy. And then after you, you release those fears, then go to your sacred place or your prayer closet and pray. Work with the affirmation. Work with, you know, I am now fearless. And then use your releasing breath to clear your energy. You've you got tools now, okay? You've got tools. 
So use that, okay? Take care of yourself today. All right, it's gift away time, okay? Remember last week I told you I had some things that I was going to give away this week, so I did that yesterday, and all my book winners, and I don't think my T-shirt winner showed up. And I have some books. I found some more. <laughs> and if you know me, you know I don't sign books anymore. But these were signed, and I think I unpacked them from someplace. So I had some yesterday. I actually found them, and, and I'm going to give them away today. Let me tell you what I got today. I got Get Over It, Thought Therapy for Healing the Hard Stuff, and I have Acts of Faith, the 25th anniversary edition. And this is a hardcover. This is a hardcover, okay? And then I have a classic, okay? Peace from Broken Pieces. Peace from Broken Pieces, okay? And they're all signed. They're not personalized. They're signed to Beloved. So I'm going to give all three of these away. And if you win it and you have the... Um, and you have the book already, gift it to somebody. Remember what you give, you receive. Or if you want to, excuse my ear, you know I'm pulling up the winner's name, okay? And, um, you know, if, if you have it already, you can gift it to somebody because what you give, you receive. So you, we're going to, okay, what are you doing? Uh, what in the world? Okay, so we have the three books right here. Let me pull up my winner's name. My team goes through the thread, and they identify the winners early. So if you come in early, do your work, and you stay to the end, because I have two love kits from last week people didn't claim. I think they might have left the thread. Okay, here we go. Winners. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Let me see. C. Armani Trust Claire. C. Armani Trust Claire. Are you there? Are you there, C. Armani Trust Claire? I'm, I'm showing you the books. Oh, that's the wrong way. <laughs> C. Armani Trust Claire. You just won three books. So, C. Armani Trust Claire, what I want you to do is send me an email to iyamla at iyamla.com and put book winner in the subject line and then we'll get your information and I'll send all of these to you. See Armani Trust Claire. Now, I hope you're in the U.S. because if you ain't in the U.S., it'll be Christmas when you get these books at this point, okay? All right, what else do I have to gift away today? I'm, I'm gifting away some more T-shirts today, okay? Uh, I, you know, I took these T-shirts when I went out on tour last year. I had them made, and I have three T-shirts, and I'm giving, today I'm giving the, um, the um, Life is an Act of Faith, Struggle is Optional set. It's a set. See, it says Life is an Act of Faith, Struggle is is optional, all right? And I signed it, all right? And the set is a white shirt, a black shirt, and a red shirt. Uh, and I have a set of small. <laughs> I have a set of small. And listen, I'm not unwrapping it because I want you to know that I haven't touched it. It's not subject to the corona or to cooties of any kind. It comes in a cellophane bag, and then I put that bag in another bag, and we'll put it in a box and send it to you. So when you open it, you will be the first person to touch this shirt. I have a set of small, which is a red one, which is a black one, and a white one, okay, in size small. So if you wear a size small, I want you to put your name in the thread, and I'm going to count to three, and I'm going to pick the first person I see, okay? Put your thumb. And I told you yesterday about a, uh, how these shirts are made. I met this young man. He lives in Indonesia, and his wife expired. His wife passed away, and he was left with three children. Now, he was a tailor. So he raised those children and taught them how to sew. And so now they have a business, and they do sewing, tailoring, embroidery, all in Indonesia. And listen, I want you to know this. These shirts were made from scratch. This is not a Fruit of the Loom shirt that they then embroidered. They made this shirt, the, the shirt, the collar, the sleeves, everything. 
The whole family, they worked together. They sent me pictures as they were working. And it's made out of silk and cotton, so it's very soft. And you got to be really careful when you wash them, because when you wash them, when they're wet, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it before you put it in the dryer. See, I have on one today. I want you to see mine. Mine says, stay lit. <laughs> stay lit on Take Care Tuesday. All right? So, size small, size small, size small. I don't see a small. Jacqueline Carlisle, I wear a small. Jacqueline Carlisle, you wear a small. So, you're going to get the Life is an Act of Faith um, set, the... Wait a minute. This is not life as an act of faith. Okay, I got another shirt I got to give away. But you will get three, a red one, a white one, a black one. Jacqueline Carlisle, send me an email to iyamla at iyamla.com and put T-shirt winner in the line, and I'll handle the postage, and I will gift it to you, okay? Now, this says, I love this shirt, okay? I wear this one all the time. I thought this was acts of faith, but it's not. I tell you, I have a box of stuff I brought back from the tour. This shirt says, be ye not oppositional. <laughs> Don't be against nobody. Don't be against nothing. Don't be against. Be mindful. Be ye not oppositional. <laughs> I love this shirt. I wear mine all the time, all right? And this is an extra, extra large, all right? I brought it from tour. Extra, extra large. If you wear extra, extra large, put it in the thread. I'm going to call somebody. I'm going to count to three. Extra, extra large. That's a big one, but that's okay. Be ye not oppositional. Tell people don't be uh, opposing and against and judging and criticizing. Oppositional. All of that is in oppositional, okay? Be ye not oppositional. Again, um, extra, extra large. Let me see. I don't know the name of the company. You can't purchase them from them. Purchase them from me at MasterpieceBodyTherapy.com. He only does wholesale work, and he sells in the market in Indonesia. And I know his name, but I can't pronounce it. It's a really wonderful uh, Indonesian name. I don't know what it is, okay? I do know what it is. I just can't say it. But you go to MasterpieceBodyTherapy.com, click on the link that says T-shirts, and you'll see the whole line. Come on, I don't have an extra, extra large person out there. I got a shirt. Extra, extra large. Be ye not. Okay, Sean Demetria, do you wear an extra, extra large Sean or Sean? Extra, extra large Sean. Uh, okay, who is that? Okay. I don't see. Okay, Sean Demetria. All right. Valerie Jackson from New York City. Okay, Valerie Jackson. So both of y'all, if there's two of you out there, just contact me, yamlatiyamla.com. Say you're the t-shirt winner, and I'll send you both. Valerie Jackson and Sean Demetria. Okay? Ha! Ah, that's the gift away for today. I have more shirts. I got a box of them. I just have to go through and see what sizes they are, and I'll give them away. I got two love kits from last week that I'm going to give away, and I found this beautiful purse in my closet, okay, that I have never touched, and I probably won't ever touch, so I'm, I'm going to give it away. All right, if you want a t-shirt and you didn't win today, you go to MasterpieceBodyTherapy.com, and you can see the whole line of shirts, they're there, um... If you won today, don't forget, send me an email and put what you won in the, um, in the subject line. I won a t-shirt or I won the books and we'll get it out to you. I'm gifting you and covering the postage, okay? So that's why I say y'all can go back and watch the tape and get your own book and affirmation, okay? Don't make me do all the work, okay? Masterpiece, one word, P-E-A-C-E. -E. I'll put it in the thread. MasterpieceBodyTherapy.com. You can get the t-shirts there. We'll put it in the thread. If my team is listening, be sure to put the link in the thread, okay? MasterpieceBodyTherapy.com. Thank you, Lisa Borbeau. Your body's telling you to love yourself. And for our closing today, I am turning to forgiveness, 21 days to forgive yourself to forgive everyone for everything. This is our closing prayer on Take Care Tuesday. So breathe with me, come on.
Dear God, today I ask for and open myself to receive healing and restoration of my mind, my heart, and all of my relationships. I confess that I have not always been kind and loving toward myself and others. I confess that I have held judgments about myself and others. I confess that I have allowed unkind, unloving, judgmental thoughts and beliefs to infect my relationship with myself, with others, and with you, God. For this, I ask for and accept your forgiveness, and I forgive myself. Today, I ask that my heart and mind be opened so that I will accept all that you have for me. I ask that you create in me a clean heart ooh, and renew a right spirit within me so that my divine relationship with you will be restored. I ask for the will to forgive and move forward. I lay down my weapon. I open my heart. I forgive. I let it be. And so it is. Deep bow. Take good, 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 good care of yourself today. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.